The state will now give COVID-19 case information on health care facilities. This announcement comes after officials say they are dealing with nine separate outbreaks. ABC 4 News investigator Jason Wynn tells us how the state is, do is doing battling COVID-19 at facilities hit especially hard. 97 healthcare facilities were impacted by COVID-19 according to recent state data and 77 facilities were able to resolve their outbreaks. But you know we have had some outbreaks and, and that's an unfortunate situation but but we're definitely um, doing a really good job at controlling the spread when we do identify outbreaks. Since the beginning of the pandemic, state officials say 30 residents like Afton Krupa, who we told you about Wednesday night, died from COVID-19. Jean Brown and Christy Justice say they lost their mother in less than seven days. What we went through and witnessed is just yeah, unreal. State epidemiologist Dr. Angela Dunn saying frontline workers like the ones at Heritage Park Healthcare and Rehabilitative Services are doing everything they can to keep patients safe from the virus. I mean, I can I can attest to that too. I mean, our frontline workers are doing an amazing job at protecting their residents and themselves against the spread of COVID-19. The state revealing Thursday 150 healthcare workers at care facilities tested positive for COVID-19. We work with them on the ground all the time and, and our role is to provide them with the resources um, and the data to be able to protect themselves and their patients. All of this information is provided to the public on the state coronavirus website under the tab care facilities. This tab identifies the outbreaks and cases at licensed long term care facilities, assisted living facilities, nursing homes and intermediate care facilities for the mentally disabled. One healthcare worker at a facility with the COVID-19 outbreak reached out to me this morning. She says every time a patient dies of COVID-19, it hurts everyone on her team. She wants our viewers to know that healthcare workers discuss better ways to care for patients every day during the pandemic and that they're doing everything they can to protect those inside their facilities. I'm Jason Wynn in Salt Lake County, ABC4 News.